Hi all. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about factoring again, um, but t this time we're going to talk about factoring some simple trinomials. Okay. So remember, trinomials look like this. Okay. So that's a trinomial. It's got three terms. Okay. And the reason why it's called simple is because it begins with a one. Right? If I don't have a coefficient in front of the x squared, you assume it's a 1. Okay, So our goal is going to be to factor these tr simple trinomials. Okay, And remember, factoring means that this could look like two things multiplied together. And my question is, which two things multiplied to make this? Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to remember... Um, that we can expand using algebra tiles. So to expand this with algebra tiles, we can set up one set of algebra tiles on the side. So we'll say x plus 2 is on the side. All right? And then x plus 1, we could set up on the top. So there's x plus 1. And then our answer is going to be whatever gets made in the center here. All right? So there's x squared plus an x, plus two more x's, and then plus two, right? So that's how we filled in the blocks there, okay? So our answer there was x squared, because that's an x squared, plus one, two, three x tiles, plus one, two. Right? So we could go from here to here with algebra tiles. Okay? Now a lot of you kind of moaned and groaned when I made you do that, but the reason why I wanted you to do it is because now when I ask you to factor x squared plus 3x plus 2, it is definitely not easy to do. Okay? But we can set up x squared plus I want 3x's. and then I can have two, okay? So I wanna set this up as a rectangle because then my two factors will be here and here, right? But that's only if this is a rectangle. So if I put one, two things there, if I put this third one here, then this won't complete a rectangle. So I wanna get rid of that one and maybe set one up down here, right? And then I can fill these two spaces in, one, two. Okay, so now you can see that my factors are the things that were multiplied to make that x squared plus 3x plus 2 are actually just an x plus 2 and an x plus 1. Okay, so that means that x squared plus 3x plus 2 is actually broken down into x plus 2 plus x plus 1. Okay? So that's using algebra tiles. Okay? Now I am going to do another example. Play this example over and over again until it makes sense. Okay? But I'm going to do another one with you. Okay, so this time I want to factor x squared plus 5x plus 6. So remember our goal is to write x squared plus 5x plus 6 as one thing times another thing. Okay? So also remember that we can use algebra tiles for this. Okay? So if I try to set up x squared plus 5x, okay, so I can go 1, 2, 3, right? Now I'm going to have to add 6 little ones. So 1, 2, 3, and now you can kind of see that to make 6, I'm going to need another row. Right? which means that to complete my 5x, I should use these two. 
right? So there's my rectangle that's x squared plus 5x plus 6, okay? So now, what should go out here on the side? Well, here I had to have an x times an x. Here, I had to have three little guys. And over here, I had to have two little guys. Okay, so that means that this actually broke down into x plus 3 times x plus 2. Okay, so there are, uh, there's another thing that we broke down into its two factors. Okay, so let's look at one more example. Okay, so this time we want to break down x squared plus 4x plus 3 into two factors, okay? And we'll do the same way. So here's my x squared. My 4x, I could try to do like this. So I could try to do 1, 2, and then 1, 2. But you can see that now I have to use four little ones, right? But I can't use four little ones because I only have three. So then I'm going to get rid of one and I'm going to try to add one more there. So I've still got four, and now the space that I have left is just three. Okay? So again, that shows us the factors, right? The factors are x plus three, and on the other side, x plus one, okay? So this breaks down to x plus 3, x plus 1, okay? So of course, we don't want to use algebra tiles all the time. So I'm going to ask you to try to find a pattern one more time, okay? So a little bit of review, okay? What we've done is we've factored um, x squared plus 3x plus 2 into x plus 2, x plus 1. I want to know where does this 2 and this 1 come from? Okay? Where does the 2 and the 3 come from? Where does the 1 and the 3 come from? Okay? So if you need to, remind yourself of these diagrams. Okay? But my goal for you is that these two numbers something have something to do with this and this number. These two numbers have something to do with this and this number. These two numbers have something to do with this and this number. Okay, so what I would like you to do is I would like you to consider that uh, and bring that idea to class. Okay? All right, I'll see you guys in class.